Hey friends, welcome back to another YouTube video of me playing The Sims on my Inspiron 1520. We are here with the Levy family and they are just doing their thing. So while they are doing their thing, make sure you do your thing and comment, like, and subscribe. Well, today is kind of a touchy video. It's more along the lines of a rant and me just being angry. Well, my grandfather is dead. Everyone was there with him but us. Even my sister who said she couldn't go because of her child who was five. She was there, held his hand as he was passing away. Everyone was there but us. My brother messaged me the day after and was like, we had a wine party with him. I said how no one told us shit and how wrong this was to not even get told myself and how people told my daughter and not me. Apparently, not getting told is all my fault because I was pissed because my mother emailed my daughter telling her about Rick's father who got hurt on his on his motorbike. The man who isn't even the father of my child and not my about my grandfather and Shane's great grandfather. Like what the hell? How they knew about my grandfather having bone cancer a full week before they told us. We found out the day after Shane's appointment with an orthopedic surgeon about her odd bone growth. The doctor didn't pay much attention to her when we were there. He may have paid more attention to her if we had known about the bone cancer information with my grandfather. And FYI, my child still has a lot of leg pain and can't walk properly. They all believe I cut everyone out of our lives when that's not the case. We only went no contact with my mother over her continually taking me to court to try to take my child, failing each time, causing a bigger rift between us. My Aunt Kim for her aggressive overstepping of boundaries. My sister for telling my mother personal information to which my mother used in court. But I do allow my daughter to go see my sister. Uh, and my Aunt Wendy who sided with my mother during the last court crap. And if my mother won... I would only be allowed supervised visits with my child. And my Aunt Wendy w agreed to be the person to do the, do the supervised visits. And I asked my Aunt Wendy for an apology. And then I, her and I wouldn't have had any problems. But she could not give me an apology because she couldn't do that. It would so I told her that we can't uh, have any kind of communication until she gives me an apology. So, oh well. And none of these people would have kept me away from being there as my grandfather was passing away. Not one. I know this is weird sounding, or I don't know if it is weird sounding. It may, it may not be. But I do take comfort in knowing that my last memory of him isn't him sick and weak and frail. I was there when my grandmother was dying. I was there when she died. I saw how ugly of a death she had and that is my last memory of my grandmother and 